start by using words to play. So you can use words like stop and go to play a game like red light, green light. So maybe you will model by touching and saying, go, go, and you'll creep towards your child or have siblings run towards your child and then model stop. Stop. And they all freeze. It's just like red light, green light, but they're using their core words and they're using their device to communicate and they're in control. Lots of times at home, our children with complex bodies are not in control and they're also certainly not in control of their siblings. So this is a really fun game. Another opportunity would be to play music. So you might start by playing music and your child will either touch more or all done when they hear the song. Play the music for a little bit and then hit pause. Then you might say, do you want to be all done music or more music? If to your surprise they say all done, you might say, hmm, did you like that song or you don't like that song? Maybe they just tell you they don't like the song and you say, oh, okay, you're all done with that song. Let's do more music in a different way. See how you can use some of this basic vocabulary to play music, pick your jams, and have fun with your child. You can also play with blocks or other toys or even cups. I want to play. Never mind that this just says Legos. Legos. Because it gets you the vocabulary to build it up. Build them. Knock it down. Knock it down. And do it again. Do it again. Build them up. Build them. Then you just keep building. Even if your child with complex needs can't build it up, if they can move some part of their body to knock it down, it's a game that they'll play over and over again. Let's experience language through play. If you need a more structured way to play, there are lots of different calendars and core words of the week out there. One of the things we're gonna include in the comment section under this video is a calendar. There's, this is a calendar that says that the core word of the week is take and every day a different way to use that word. If you're not doing core words yet and you're just experiencing language, another calendar is for the emergent communicators and it takes a word like an action, like these are the action words we're focusing on today. This might be a describer word we're focusing on today. There's the social experience where you're talking about like and dislike today categories, question words, people, and you're gonna cover these main action describer, social noun, question people, so that by the time you get to the end of the week that you know you have focused on all the different parts of speech and communication. So check out the links below to the calendars and there should be an April one posted soon.